2007, 2008. They went and dug Magdalen Hill just outside Winchester and they found hospitals. And they also found lots and lots of burials, which is what you expect. Some of those skeletal remains had very obvious evidence of disease. You can see that fibula, which is the lower bone in that image, has got a lot of florid new bone growth. But then you also have this. And this is the point at which you go as a paleopathologist. It's obviously leprosy. There's nothing else it can be. Now, this is a disease that is still with us today. 200,000 new cases a year. And the World Health Organization is aiming to eradicate it by 2030. And I think they've got a pretty good chance because we've got a new weapon in the arsenal, which is genetics. So as you all know, we can identify diseases now on the basis of DNA. You know that because we have just lived through this and we have all experienced swabbing noses and throats and sending samples off for PCR tests. You can do PCR tests for leprosy and this is transformative because it means that we can identify a patient with leprosy and we can test all their contacts, all their close family and friends. You usually find about a quarter of them have got asymptomatic leprosy and you can start them on antibiotics. And so with these genetic tests, I think, we're going to get very close to combating leprosy and eradicating it.